Okay, class, let's start the chapter. Okay, in this class, we'll talk about chapter 13. We have a few chapters that for the uh, covers today. So the um, only, uh, we thought that is the most important chapter uh, remaining from what's remaining from this book is one of them is the marketing communication, the digital marketing communication, because most of us are gonna be involved in it. So in this chapter, what we are looking for is really, we are uh, explaining the unique online approaches used in a marketing communication. We will describe the social media marketing, we'll outline social networks and tools used in the social media. We will summarize the best practice associated with the creation and monitoring of a social media program. And also will explain uh, mobile marketing and its approach, which is describe the tools involved in a mobile marketing and list the best practice and regulations that guide the mobile marketing. <clears throat> the online marketing is made of few things. It's not as simple, as straightforward. Uh, it's first uh, thing, uh, issues that we look at is, well, we can look at the website and microsites. We look at the search engines marketing. There is a tool called display advertising and or advertising. There is a tool called affiliate marketing, email marketing, word of the mouth marketing, social media marketing, and mobile marketing. And all of them considered to be online marketing tool. What's a website? Website is usually, it's a something that often form the foundation of a company or a brand digital marketing strategy. There is a website which is called a traditional, there is a promotional microsite, like a blog, and there is the corporate ones. Usually Walmart has a focus on the transactions. Ones. There is something with this uh, thing that we hear about is SEOs and PPC, which is a search engine marketing, which is include, as we say, search engine optimization, ensuring that the website are written, indexed, and coded so they are highly rated and ranked the search engine. So you wanna to have to have your website or your link shows up when you do a Google search or Yahoo, whatever, on the top 10 link on the first page. So you wanna make sure it's there or at least in the second, but first must, that makes it. And there is something called pay-per-click, which is you will see an ad when you click the first three or four, I believe, links and add that appears in response to the keyword triggers on the search engine, as well as on some website, blogs, and social media sites, where the advertisers pays only when the ad is clicked. So that's the reason they call it pay per click. And to make it on a search engine. So when we look at the display of advertisement on the internet, there is certain places where you see is the internet display ad uh, is called a, a, a lead board, uh, sky uh, creepers. There is another skyscrapers you see here. 
And then there is a square that on the website shows as an advertisement or a really board or, or the rectangles. Um, online marketing tools. We have what you call affiliate. We have the email and we have the word of mouth. In the affiliate, we promote business through a network online association or associates, which is that's what you call an affiliate. To drive the traffic, leads and purchase. And Amazon does uh, with its own partners and uh, connect uh, lots of affiliates with uh, you know, other companies. In the email, which is opt-in emails list where consumer register and give a permission to receive an online communications. This is one of the first tools that I use for uh, online marketing um, when there was no concept of online marketing. Um, the, the word of mouth, it's just a spread of positive messages by listing to consumers identifying influential individual who can spread the word and making it easier for them to do so. So word of mouth when you're writing, when you reshare it, when you, you know, you send things again and again. Now the characters, Statistics of social media. What's a social media? Social media allows members to create their own network of friends and contacts to share the comments, articles, opinions, videos, and images. So what are the characteristics of social media network? They usually run off cloud-based softwares accessed from mobile or a desktop or laptop, often use app, free to join, interact with the content providers, you can interact with them and categorize content and continuously evolve, keep changing, increasing, you know, all these things. These are some samples, YouTube, Facebook, Reddit, I don't know, um, uh, Twitters, these are all social media, LinkedIn. Now the characteristic will continue, we have what you call uh, social media ca categories. And what we have the social reviews, and you can see here's the names of them. You have what you call the social, communities, which is a Facebook, you use it, what do you call the social bookmark, like Pinterest and Reddit, and you have the social gaming, like the Xbox Live, and then what do you have the social creation and discoveries, Instagram is one of, or YouTube is one of them as examples. So there is what you call is made of the social networking, user generated content, a content, a blogs, vlog and wiki. Now, when we comparing the social media with the traditional media in the social media, it gives us is a flexibilities there and can be changed even after it's published. Is available immediately, not like a traditional takes a day to publish on the newspaper or whatever, create a conversation. And so the marketeers do not have a full control over the message. They deliver a message in the newspaper, nothing, you know, get back to you. Can have a less reliable demographic data about this audience. Somebody can register itself as a Batman and it's name 99 years old, pretend or 190 and be one of your 
social media member can be produced inexpensively and need a dedicated attention. So not as 100% free because you have to pay attention in order to make the social media useful for you. And time costs money. When a brand reach out to a consumer, social media marketing definition, when a brand reach out to consumers online through the social network, where the people connect with the friends and contacts to share common articles, opinions, videos, and images as a form of self-expression. That's what you call a social media marketing. There is a reason and benefits in social media marketing. There's some companies or people wants to increase the exposure increase the traffic, you might have a deploy loyal fan, you provide a marketing site, you might wanna generate leads, improve the search uh, ranking. Um, you probably want to have a growing business partnership, improve the sales established through the leadership and probably wants to reduce the marketing expense. And these are the reason some companies are active into social media. Now, I'm not gonna go on the details on this, but you need to look at the strategy and how each social media works. For example, uh, there is a 93% of Canadian use the Facebook, but what it is a Facebook, you, you need to understand that there is a difference between LinkedIn and a Facebook, for example, and online sharing of photos, videos, and text. That's Facebook. On the other hand, LinkedIn, which is 35% of the Canadian on it, is a business networking site. The communication tools, that you use on a Facebook is will create a company profile page that can be liked or followed. Facebook ads and sponsored posts, for example. On the other hand, the company page paid sponsors update on LinkedIn. The primary users, which is this is what you define when you, where you are reason to go and which site you need to be more active. You might have time and manpower to cover all these and more, but you need to focus on a certain of them. So the primary users in the Facebook, they build an audience of followers for your brand to weigh communication with your customer. On the other hand, the primary users uses, the primary users, I'm sorry, uh, showcase your company, connect with other business and recruit employees. So we explain these, but you, you can take a look at the Twitters and the YouTube and Instagram. Each one has, what is it? communication tools, how you can commun communication tool, and the primary uses, why they are using companies these. Now, so, uh, post when engagement is the highest. That's one of the advice they ask you. you post when the engagement is high. Although you post when, they, when you start, that's what you call um, uh, a, uh, uh, organic growth, hoping that you, your audience could so. Learn about customers. Um, you need to learn from the past and learn from about customer. You need to use photos, engage by replying to the comments. <clears throat> 
create a share worthy content and include a call to action. When you create a share worthy content, you improve or you establish your authorities and keep posts short. Don't make it too long. <clears throat> Also, you need to develop an editorial calendar and schedule event through the year. You need also to create and reuse graphic template, make it more attractive, use videos and images for a Twitter promotion. If you do a Twitter or Instagram, use a tweet ads that take the form of promotes account or to promote it tweets. Now, can also, the social media can also optimize YouTube channels and videos for the search engine through the use of the keyword. You can utilize YouTube channels for that. Um, you know, uh, YouTubers are a good way of pushing your ads there because lot you know how many subscribers there's for example or you can create your own and become the youtubers also but also include all a call to action not just people make comments or you know reaction and you're not taking any action Leverage a hashtag that are already relevant to your audience. Share your Instagram post on the Twitters. You can do that. Facebook and Snapchat and post at the right time. Now, make the headline stand out. Use the sponsor update to extend your reach beyond the current followers, include your logo and impactful banners, imaging on your company page and leverage company analytics to understand the trend and optimize your content and post video. See all these requirements or all these suggestions, it's, it's a full course and more. Uh, but it's not here that I'm gonna explain each one of them on details, but it could be a full course that takes a, a whole semester to cover. Now, uh, when you're planning a social media, you need to answer these questions to help to steer your social media marketing programs. Social media marketing that you need to answer is what are you, your company's social media policies and guidelines? Is it direct marketing, direct selling, or just uh, uh, awareness, great awareness, or, or, or? How does your target market use the social media and what drives the engagement? How can social media be integrated into other brand marketing programs? You need to answer what type of content is suitable for your brand on your selected social media site. Who will be creating social media content for your brand and what is the budget? What are your daily, weekly, for a social media post and interaction. You also need to know who will be running and monitoring the social media program. It cannot be run one by one person for a big company. It might be running by a team. If we had a team with the management of all department for social media. What analytics platform will be used to monitor measure and evaluate social media programs, what social media network and appropriate for your brand and target. Once you answer these questions or have an answer for this question, 
your activity will be crystallized on the social media because it can drag you and make you spend lots of time uh, and you in a useless way. So you need to be careful when you're utilizing the social media. Now, creating and measuring social media marketing program. So after we've created a plan and crystallize ideas and answer all these questions, now we need to track to see how active, how useful is these activities. We need to see who, how many followers, who we can reach, what kind of comment there we get, like and unlike, if there is a shares, views, who want to see where do they click, how they click, uh, when are they going to your website or not? What's the sentiment there? What's the buzzword, the buzz thing? Is there an engagement? Uh, is there is a brand awareness? Uh, is there a share of voice? People are talking, sharing their voice. They, and then that's the engagement met metrics. Now what you have is called the optimization metrics, which is called a click-through rate. We need to notice that, calculate that, find the rate, cost per click. Uh, you need to see the cost per thousand, um, cost per acquisition of every, influ every customer, cost per conversation, a conversion, sorry from potential client to a real client, conversion rate and retention rate how many of them you are keeping also. And in the CRM, we will be talking about retention and conversion rate. So what's the best practice is to obtain senior, the best practice is to obtain senior management commitment. It set company-wide governance for the social media, create details, social media policies, guidelines, and rule engagement. So you have to make sure the rules, everything set up. You also need to set clearly and define the measurable social media marketing objective, how much you're meeting the media. The money is being spent on the social media and your time. What's the result? What's it back? And there is a tool that you can find out about it. Select a scalable platform that will be used to deploy, monitor and measure social media activities and identify the social network that will be used as we said. You cannot just go and put ads in everyone see your customer, crystallize your plan, do a best practice and select target few of yes, not all of that. Also, you need to establish the metrics that will be used to evaluate your approach. And there is tools on site that you can evaluate. Um, dedicate, train and hire social media marketing expert, must. Understand that negative comment will, will surface on the social media and how you deal with these negative comments is very important and when. Realize that mistake will be made and integrate social media program into your marketing practice and into your app, local application like the CRM, for example. Use to communicate to gather information and to be entertained. These mobile markets. So when you have a mobile, these are tools, they help you to communicate, to gather information and to be entertained. It is a pillar in a multi-screen era where consumers connect in and out of home using the portable device. Anywhere you go, the mobile with you. It's no longer accessories, it's nice to have. 
it becomes kind of a must have, but it's a tool that help manage your daily life now. Uh, it's not only communication uh, with people, is managing you know, your daily life, emails, uh, calendars, uh, you know, you're fully aware of the situation. So the mobile marketing, it's a set of practice that enable organization to communicate and engage with their audience in an interactive and relevant manner through any mobile device or a network. Mobile devices are used by, keep in mind, over almost 5 billion unique subscribers worldwide. So you need, when you wanna do a mobile marketing, you need to focus on, uh, start with the mobile marketing, looking at the who is using what kind of a mobile, there is a different version, there is a different frames, um, could be laptop, could be pad, uh, Padlet, uh, uh, pad, I'm sorry, or it could be a mobile, what kind of a mobile also. It's a different ball games there. The devices that you're looking at as a mobile device is the uh, feature phone, smartphones, tablets, wearables, internet enabled handling games devices, internet enabled MP3 players and e-readers. These are all mobile devices that moves with you. And it's a wide range of mobile devices are available to keep consumer connected. Now, top activities on the smartphone, for example, and you know smartphone could be Android, could be iOS, Apple, or others, and each one has its own framework in programming when you are doing an application on it. The top 10 activities of a smartphone, send or receive an email. Send or receive a text or instant message. You might be clicking on a weather. You might be searching the internet. You do some social networking like Facebook and all these things. You're probably watching a video, access on map, a map, listen to music, post photos, and plan a game. They notice over 30% of the people walking in any store, they turn on their mobile search for some reason, whether they're communicating with their friends about the product that they see, or checking their website, whether there's something better deal than the one they see in the store. So even the stores should be aware of the mobiles, the regular source activities. What's an M-commerce, the mobile commerce, or the process of purchasing item online through a mobile device, and it's done a lot now. Uh, showrooming is the practice of using mobile device in the store. Mobile marketing tools. Mobile marketing tools provide marketeers with a platform for one-to-one -one personalized communication where the target can be more precise. So in the mobile marketing, you look at, you know, categorize them and be more precise. Like you can categorize and target the demographical or we can say age, color, race, or the device, the one who use laptop, the one who use, uh, I'm sorry, the one who use the mobile or uh, other tools. By the interest, you can also categorize them. All the exact time locations when you move to, like uh, he's walking to a restaurant, you allocate him and you find out um, the restaurant. Mobile web, website design for the smaller screens of a mobile device. Once again, we talked about the framework. 
that's what it's all about. So some website you go in and you see is like a scanner in your mobile. This one is filled in a certain frame and that's what a mobile web is all about. Mobile application is a software program that can be downloaded on the smartphone or a tablet to engage the customer with information, entertainment, or interactivities. There's different kinds, uh, native apps, there is a mobile web app or rendering, they call it, and there is a hybrid app, and there is a push notification. Most of the people have a tendency when they have the mobile application, they think it's the same application in, available on the desktop and laptop. That's not necessary because in the mobile apps, you want it to have it lighter. So you minimize the unnecessary or less targeted function. You might have less functionalities there. So even when you're um, trying to approach any app that requires interactive action, be careful if this app covering all the functionalities that you have seen on the laptop or PCs. Now in the mobile app, there is a regulations. One of the issues that we always face, um, especially you guys which on Google, uh, we utilize the mobile app of Google Classroom thinking that it's a bit, it is the same with uh, the one on the laptop uh, and there is some functionality is missing on mobile app. Uh, and you need to know which functionality you cannot use on a mobile. But back to the mobile marketing regulation, what do you call the Canada's anti-spam regulation? You can read them when you get active uh, in the uh, uh, mobile uh, marketing. There is something called mobile uh, anti-spam legislation. Uh, you can click on it. Canadian radio, television, telecommunication, which is CRTCs. Uh, and then you have the Canadian Wireless Telecommunication Association, and you have Mobile Marketing Association, MMA. And there is a code of conduct for it too. So the mobile marketing best practice is a different than the first one. Best practice is think mobile first and start with a mobile perspective. So you wanna think and focus on a mobile perspective and generate a creative specifically for mobile. Communicate across multiple screen to create a seamless experience as consumers switch between devices. So they should see it on tablet and mobile because the both are mobile. Tar very, uh, uh, very smoothly. Target audience more specifically using the rich database available from the mobile interaction, including the location, like the people who use the GPS uh, and or search for uh, certain restaurants utilizing the GPS, for example. Also utilize a full spectrum of mobile for tools to interact with cons consumers, integrate mobile marketing program into your traditional marketing campaigns. So you wanna make sure uh, it, it's integrated, it's moved accordingly, offer great services, functionalities and benefits, Leverage every stage of path to purchase. Understand that mobile is used for search and discovery as well as connecting and purchasing. Test your way to success by tracking, measuring, 
making adjustment to improve the result and see your return on the investment. Very important. So this is end of the chapter.